do what they say I can't do Look around me, that's insane proof Lot said I wouldn't, that got my brain too But some said I couldn't, so I came through For all the ones that stayed true They get to come back and hop on a train too But guess what, there's no next stop Only when the tracks end Full steam ahead, until my whole stack's in. We make bank and we pack sand But I won't quit till the whole hand's over So go ahead and sit to Ken Polk Hey guys, so in this session, we actually end up winning a little bit over $7,000. So the sun run continues, which is really sweet. Uh, however, we did lose our biggest pot ever uh, as well in this same session. So the fact that we ended uh, so far up was pretty amazing. Um, so one of the big focuses on this session will be to use terms uh, that maybe people that don't understand poker that well uh, could understand uh, or explain terms that are typically used at the poker table such as felted meaning that you ran out of all your chips you have officially hit the felt with your stack so let's get right on to the hands and yeah check it out In this first hand, it is a $20 bomb pot, eight ways, I'm on the button. I look down at six eight of diamonds with four nine offsuit. So we go straight to the flop, eight ways, 160 bucks in the middle, and the flop comes 10, nine, three with two diamonds. Okay, now this is where PLO really, really starts to separate from uh, Texas Hold'em, because if you look at this when you have um, just two cards in front of you any two cards of the four uh basically it means that you have flopped absolutely nothing you have middle pair uh at best so you basically have nothing however in plo i actually have a gut shot straight draw i have a flush draw i have flush draw blockers and a pair so i can make two pair on uh tons of different turns i can make a straight with a seven with the diamond redraw so there's a whole bunch of different things that really separate PLO from uh, Hold'em in this spot. Uh, not to say that that's a good call uh, on my part when the big blind bets $80, uh, but we had uh, one caller before me, I called, and then we had one more caller behind, so the small blind called as well. So we're basically going four ways to the turn, which comes the seven of hearts. And seven of hearts makes our straight, but it's probably no good because we lose the 10 jack. Um, so it's really, really, really bad uh, when the big blind checks and the guy behind us bets 300 uh, and I raise all in for 440. Uh, I That was a really bad play, um, but that's basically how it goes down. The small blind makes it 600. Uh, the big blind actually folds uh, and so does the guy behind and we actually go to the river uh, which comes the king of diamonds i make the flush and i scoop sixteen hundred dollars in our first hand playing like a big old donkey okay so moving on from that shit show of a hand uh we look down at queen queen eight nine with three clubs uh, it is raised in one spot to 15 before me after a limper and uh, I pot it to $60 and we don't get very much action. Uh, we only get uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five collars. Uh, so we are uh, six ways to the flop, uh, which comes pretty favorable. Queen, deuce, five with two clubs. Uh, so action checks to me and I pot, uh, which not really accurate. It's I met, bet the max, which is 300. Uh, and I get one caller, which is Billy. And the turn comes the nine of diamonds. Uh, I still have the best possible hand. So I bet the max again, 300 and we get another call. Uh, and the river comes the six of clubs, which means I no longer have the best possible hand. Uh, my flush gets there, but uh, now we lose to the ace high and king high flushes. So not really a big fan of this card, to be honest. So I check, uh, intending to call a bet if Billy does bet the 300, uh, but he checks back and we actually take down a significant pot with our queen high flush. three clubs. So in this next hand, I'm basically going to uh, keep my commentary to a, a minimum and let you guys hear what it's kind of like at the table. 
uh, when you're playing for uh, a relatively big pot, uh, you know, this is three, five stakes and uh, this pot gets really big. It gets to uh, a little bit over $4,000 and in three, five, when you have a $300 spread limit, it's kind of hard to do. Um, so uh, let's get right on into it. Uh, I'll throw the graphics up so that way it's easier to follow. And yeah, here you go. Here's some table talk. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Thank you. Good fold. Very good fold. Super impressed. Way into like video games. Yeah. Well, that was kind of how we first, like before I was in, we still talked like some amount of permanent and stuff. Yeah. 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 Cab, right? That's a cab. 900. Set is no good. Okay. 300 and dark. You have nut flush? I have king high. I have king high spades. I had five kings with king high spades. You just felt me? You just felt me? Kings with king high spades. Can I fold the second nuts here? No shot. Oh, god damn. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that. Uh, Nuj ended up telling me later uh, that he had a nine high flush and king 10. So he blocked the top two sets and 
uh, also had a flush draw. He thought he sucked out on me in the river, which is why he raised it to 600. Uh, and then I didn't feel like I should raise to the 900 without the nut flush, although looking back on it, I really should have. Uh, ultimately, we ended up winning a $5,500 pot, which is pretty sweet. We ended up losing a really big pot as well later on in the night. Uh, however, I am still getting new to or getting used to the vlog thing. So um, my phone died and I missed the loss. However, basically how it went down is pretty straightforward. I had pocket jacks in the small blind and it got capped pre-flop to $40. Uh, and then the flop came jack high, uh, jack 10 deuce. Uh, I had... Uh, the nuts, obviously, so uh, I bet the max, which was 300. Uh, it got raised to 600, 900, then 1200. I have the absolute nuts. I have to call the 1200, so I do. Uh, and so does one other person, and it goes 300, 300, uh, and then another 300. So we end up losing uh, a really big pot later on in the night as well, right around five to six thousand dollars as well. Um, I just missed it, and I was drinking a little bit, so um ultimately ended up being uh up right around seven thousand dollars at the end of the night and i'll show you guys what that looks like and uh the biggest thing that i would ask from you guys is feedback so please do me a favor and comment down below if you've made it this far uh and i'll put out another one next week i actually had a losing session so <clears throat> um not super exciting pretty straightforward overall i played kind of bad and i'll talk about that as well uh, hopefully you guys learned something and uh, ask any questions that you want down in the comments. I'm replying to everybody. So uh, like and subscribe as well. See you guys next week. I do what they say I can't do. Look around me, that's insane proof. Lot said I wouldn't, that got my brain too. But some said I couldn't, so I came through. For all the ones that stayed true, they get to come back and hop on a train too. But guess what? There is no next stop. Only when the tracks end. Full steam ahead until my whole stack's in. We make bank and we pack sand. But I won't quit till the whole hand's over. So go ahead and sit to Kim Pope.